Hello my loves, I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, lorelsmoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for my Aquarian gods. This is going to be for the 11th through the 18th, June 2020. We're going to find out the overall energies, what's going on in love and what's to come, what you need to look out for, and possible outcomes. So I didn't have any clear audience messages that came to me. But some of you guys do need to get out and discover the world and in some sort of adventure or discover a new find of some sort. Okay, get your ass about the house. Try something a little different. Now, if you are getting out of the house, for some of you guys, you need to figure out what you're going to do. Because I feel somebody is definitely um, in their head or in their thoughts about making a move. Or this could be an actual physical move. So, let's see what's popping. We're going to get these career oracles first. And then we're going to get the overall energies. So give it to me, Spirit, for my Aquarius for the 11th through the 18th. We got Speaker, your life purpose involves your skills of oration. Okay. So speaking, using words. This could be talking in front of others. This also could be how you're speaking amongst just one-to-one -one conversation or one-on-one -on -one conversation but i feel for some of you guys you're definitely building some things here this could be an actual build but it says the ability to create brings you a deep sense of accomplishments and to let go walk away from the situation in order to resolve it aquarians my loves we also have travel your life's purpose involves traveling so this could be a to and fro type of job but there's something that you're going to be inspired okay this could be uh you inspiring yourself to learn to see new things with this traveling card here but like i said there could be an actual move that some of you guys need to think about baby especially with a career change or when you do move it does set the tone so i feel some of you guys need to trust your understanding trust your conclusions as well so be aware of that let's see what the cards have to say overall energies for my motherfucking aquarius for the 11th through the 18th very first card is the ace of cups and the devil well there you have it the devil is here baby also the Ace of Cups. So some of you guys could be overindulgent. This could be sex, drugs, rock and roll. This could be alcohol, obsession over pie. Okay, this motherfucker's eating cheesecake and cherries and shit. So Aquarians, you definitely have to think about your obsessions and temptations. <laughs> With this Ace of Cups here, could be a love scenario that's coming down, baby. Some of you guys might be seeing some new offers, some new beginnings in love. So let's see what's pop. Could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Give me one more card for my Aquarians overall crowning energy. Eight of Wands. Okay. So Eight of Wands here in reverse. There could be somebody that you have to let go of some communication with, or you're definitely blocking off some people with uh with intent. <laughs> so Aquarians. I feel like either you have preserved yourself with your words, with your speech, what it is that you're saying towards people. And I'm also getting that um, for some of you guys, you definitely have let go of a situation or you've blocked someone completely and are moving fucking forward. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Let's see what's popping 
and love. I'm going to get the romance angels. And then we're going to go from there. So, 11 through the 18th. What do we have for Aquarians? We have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. So there could be some issues where somebody is reaching a little bit more uh, harder, okay, to make some gains here. Or you're definitely concentrating on those minute factors of your career and your finances versus love. But I do see that it could be because of traveling. Now, some of you guys, there's some unrequited love. There's not enough attraction to, or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So this could be a diverse amount of ways that it's unrequited, okay? But you could feel like there's not enough push or you just don't want to deal with a motherfucker, okay? Some of you guys just are concentrating on traveling, teaching your own, getting your own teaching, okay? And I feel like your philosophies as well for some of you guys. But I feel like um, there's a major session or there could be like just something that's very important to you within your finances and your career that is making you choose decisions over love, all right? And I'm also seeing worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Now, some of you guys could be codependent, okay? Addictions are affecting your romantic life. That's what that devil was there for. Uh oh, but so worth waiting for. Give me one more for my Aquarians in love. We got passion, okay? Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So somebody's getting ready to hump. That's probably why they're so codependent is because of either the penis or the pussy. One of the two. <laughs> it also could be finances, okay? What you're reliant on, your other person, okay? But I do see passion up in the mix. Somebody is trying to like, you know, see the brighter side of things. Or this definitely could be a lot of sexual energy. So let's see what's popping between you and your partner and love and then... What's to come? Some of you guys could be dealing with another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Or you're just automatically setting in your authoritative position. So here we go. Aquarians. Okay, so I feel you could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel you're trying to drop your guard down. But at the same time, you don't want to do this back and forth with somebody who's going to give you a lot of anxious or a lot of anxiety type of feelings, okay? And I feel um, between you and your partner, you're definitely having these high expectations or someone could be having high expectations. But I'm also getting that somebody needs to come in with some offers. Six of Pentacle Energy here, all right? I'm getting that because she's holding on to some gifts, she's definitely ready for something to happen, something to pop off, something new, okay? We also have the Eight of Pentacles, so somebody who's definitely working here. This could be working for perfection. I'm getting that somebody's getting different levels on this perfection. Look how she's cooking that cake, baby. So I do feel like somebody is trying to see the brighter side of things, working on the situation, working on multiple people. You could be dealing with an Aquarian energy with this magician here, or some of you all just might feel, on the other hand, that somebody's a con artist or conning some things, okay? Um, I'm also seeing with the Wheel of Fortune, there's going to be a time change or definitely something that's destined to happen here with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. There's a decision that's going to be made. Somebody is definitely coming back in with this death energy. Could be Scorpio. But I'm getting a decision that's being made that somebody's no longer feeling blinded towards. So let's see what's to come. What's to come with my Aquarians for the 11th through the 18th? Empress energy here. Page of Wands. Page of Swords. Ten of Cups. So I feel like somebody's either watching your situation or there's definitely somebody... Um, there's somebody here that's... It's like they're, they're both watching your situation, but I'm also getting that some of you guys could be spying. This could be a marriage that somebody is looking at or somebody's thinking about marriage. Ten of Cups, Page of Swords, or somebody is married here that someone is looking after or looking towards. I also get some of you Aquarians feel like... Uh, you might be limited in your options, but there's somebody who's wanting to come out of the cold with you. This could be a Kansetian or somebody is 
drawing support movements towards you to come out of the cold, but I feel you think this person is definitely not ready to discover certain conversations, certain connections. But I'm seeing King of Wands, Nine of Wands. Somebody could be guarded here. Somebody's extremely hurt. There could be an ending here that somebody is wanting to come back over and resurface. That could be why that death energy is there. I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is definitely uh, not happy. I feel like there could have been some sort of dysfunction or something like that. Lover's energy here. So somebody feels like if they are alone, this is that codependency. If they're alone, you know, things won't get done. Be aware of that. And I feel um, with the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, somebody is coming in with a love offer, but they're trying to hold back from a lot of immaturity as well. This could be with a mothering energy that's coming in. You got the Queen of Cup here. So I definitely feel somebody's moving away from a situation if it's not going to bring them restoration or happiness. I feel you're becoming very aware to your finances of what you need to get to with this Hermit energy here. This could have been a move of some sort that some of you guys are adjusting to or some of you guys are getting ready to adjust to a new move. I feel like there could be some things that you're getting rid of or letting go of because you already know you're getting ready to start a new journey four of wands and the fool so yeah there's definitely somebody who's getting ready to do a wipe out and start all the way over they're getting ready to start a new journey either in marriage with the leo sagittarius aries i'm also getting that there could be a gemini involved or there's some sort of divine energy that could be involved for some of you guys. But I see you're going to be sitting in your truths for sure. But two of cup here. So there's definitely a lot of love. But I feel some of you guys could be wanting the best of like both worlds. Because I'm getting a lot of dualities with the two of pentacles. Also two of cups. So this could be you trying to outweigh your options. Simultaneously doing multiple things to try to keep afloat. Is what I'm getting. So let's see. What you need to look out for, for the 11th through the 18th. Oh, there's that Eight of Wands again. So somebody's definitely going to be coming out of, um, it looks to me like somebody's going to like unblock somebody or there's definitely going to be some messages that come through pretty swiftly, pretty fast. So get your ass ready. You got the world energy here. It could be another fixed sign that you're dealing with. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. And you Aquarians. So I do see some traveling here. Or somebody is thinking about getting in a computer and finding out their life's purpose. To either think about teaching children. This could be traveling. But I feel like this is really geared towards you putting your efforts in studying. Okay, Especially with the things that could have been uh, in the air for you with the Eight of Pentacles here. Once again, I feel like somebody is definitely thinking about their efforts. Okay, You could be uh, researching researching a travel i'm getting online traveling traveling trips you got the airplane energy here so somebody's either traveling to you they're hooking up some airplane tickets okay it's something here <laughs> Let's see what you don't see. Hermit energy, magician, moon energy. So somebody's definitely keeping a secret or there is something that's very secretive here with this hermit and the magician. I'm also getting somebody has some tricks up their sleeves with keeping um, something hidden. This could be Pisces, also Taurin. And I'm getting Gemini, Virgo. Somebody's definitely making an action towards happiness. This person looks like they're coming towards you or you are going towards them. They are definitely wanting to figure out how this situation is going to work. But I'm seeing that somebody could be keeping some things a secret. Try not to overwork yourself. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands here. But I definitely see a move like somebody's literally moving their things. Okay, somebody needs to watch their back as well, too. Or their 
their butt, <laughs> those butt cheeks. But I do see someone moving here, so that's definitely what you don't see. Someone is either moving towards you or you're moving towards them. Physical move, marriage move, all of the above. Could be a Libra energy that's involved here with this justice. But I'm seeing Leo Sagittarius Aries that's coming out of some sort of marriage and is coming towards you with a marriage. Very interesting. I feel things are going to be justified here too. Cancer Pisces Scorpio is either wanting to come out of the cold or I feel somebody is not uh, somebody's objective to stay in a relationship is rocky. But you have the two of uh, cups here. Also, the high priestess once again and the knight of cups. So you're definitely going to be coming aware to what is a major connection or the soulmate energy that brings in a lot of nostalgia. I'm getting major connections, though, with this two of cups here. Seven of swords. Somebody's coming out of hiding. And then you have yourself at the bottom of the deck. So there's something that's coming together. I'm getting um, that some of you Aquarians are going to be putting your foot down on what you're trying to do. But you're coming to a lot of accomplishments here. So let's see what the rebel messages have to say. Here we go. For the 11th through the 18th, we have money, baby. Make it rain on them hoes. And you're a grown-ass adult. It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. Stop blaming others for your shit. Okay. <laughs> and it says you need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. So, yeah, you might be traveling to ancient places, okay, distant places. But it's saying you're giving way too many fucks. And whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Some of y'all need to make that move, though, because you're the best thing that ever happened to you. So go easy on your ass and buy your own damn drink and take a fucking trip. So you guys are going to be taking flights. That's what I'm seeing, baby. Could be weed flights, however the case may be, but somebody's making it somewhere to a different destination. It says you will meet your soulmate when the time is right. So some of you guys might be seeing when the time is right. Some of y'all might be taking a break as well too, taking a trip or meeting up with the motherfucker shit. I don't know, but it's saying according to the Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search for their other halves. Plato's. Uh oh, baby. So I like that. Aquarians, this is looking beautiful. So you're going to be finding your soulmate could be, uh, you know, having some split souls coming together. But it says guidance, but where will it lead you? Okay, so somebody is definitely getting ready to find that light, but then what? And it says an important end to a new beginning. So someone is definitely missing you here because I have shallow grave. You miss someone. All right. So there could be some someone who's taken a loss. But I also see this as uh, some of you guys, somebody's missing you and they're trying to come in your direction and smell all of your energy. Okay. So enjoy yourselves. Some of you guys might be finding your soulmates. And also traveling as well. Take some pictures for me, baby. All right, my loves, I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal reading for me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes. And I'll see you guys in the next video.